Off the coast of Palm Beach, we have an overlapping area of use. Divers want to observe the sharks and fishermen want to either catch a shark or catch another fish and don't want to see sharks at all. We started shark fishing probably like 10 years before our Jaws movie came out. We're the only charter boat that actually targets sharks. I know I kill a lot of them. If you ask PETA, they say a couple hundred thousand. Um, they're probably pretty close to that. 50 years of shark fishing, it's, it's a lot of sharks. I kind of think we're keeping the beach safe. That's, that's my motto. Whoa, 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 get him out, get him out! Get him out. Good. Damn, you work for that shit. A lot of the fishermen speak about the fact that divers are training sharks to be close to the boats. And the issue of depredation, which is the sharks eating any fisherman's catch before they can get it to the boat. They're fishing in a tournament and you've got a winning fish on and suddenly a shark eats your fish and now it's disqualified. Now you just lost $200,000 in a tournament. Fishermen from all over the state are blaming divers that are operating in a very small area. It's a, actually a global issue. The frustration on the fisherman side, I don't want it to get to the point where somebody gets hurt. Have we changed the behavior of sharks? Absolutely. Are they following boats? Yeah, because there's thousands of them all over the world that are dragging fish what sharks eat behind their boats. It's just not a good policy to go out and feed a wild animal. You get these animals used to the interaction with humans, it should be outlawed. There's some dive operations that are feeding them six times a day. How many operations are out there? Sharks are highly migratory species animals. I have found six Instagram pages for six individual sharks. It kind of validates the fact that they're expecting to see the same animal on the same spot every day, day in, day out. Has the 500 shark diving operations worldwide changed the behavior of sharks? Not nearly as much as the fishermen have. So what is a shark dive operator? It's basically a fisherman that doesn't have any hooks. about three, four miles offshore to where there's a ledge, so it's a deep ledge, and the guests get in, and then from there, that's where all the magic happens. I'm with sharks more than my family, my friends, my own pets. Not every day you have a shark that just like wants your attention. So days when you get it, I just feel like everything else in the world stops. just here with this apex predator that so many people in this world don't understand. My favorite shark, her name is Gimpy. Last year I decided to make her an Instagram um, because the year before she had come in with a packing strap wrapped around her body. Sometimes if you're not feeding her, she'll just stop right in front of your camera and just kind of like sway there looking at you, like waiting for the food. This year, I got, you know, everyone was excited to come out and see Gimpy. I had people messaging me, I can't wait to see Gimpy this summer. June 6th was the last time she was seen. A controversial shark fishing tournament went ahead as scheduled today. The event intended to control the shark population, but activists say killing them is not the answer. At least nine sharks were caught and brought in for the Patrick Price Memorial Bull Shark Tournament. The shark kill tournament in, in Palm Beach that just happened 
it raised a lot of controversy. The purpose of the tournament was to show the amount of shark interactions we can get in one day, and that way we can report it back to the government and begin a dialogue with what is going on with these sharks. We don't know how many we're actually you know, losing per day versus what's actually reported. Our numbers came out at uh, nine fish harvested, 329 released. So that gives us a, a release rate of about 96 or 97%. The concern is what people are doing under the radar. That's what scares me, is that there's people doing a lot more to reduce the number of sharks than we're aware of. And as a scientist, like, those are data that we're missing. I never thought in a million years I'd watch my sharks be slaughtered in front of yeah. my face. Every shark that I know for the last four years never came back. She could have been killed, yeah. Oh God, it's sad. One third of roughly 500 species of sharks are listed with some level of endangerment. They're headed for extinction. In the years to come for future generations, you're gonna be having nothing. We're gonna have an ocean full of jellyfish. We need a healthy shark population. That is something we can all agree on. We have to look at every single thing that we can do in order to save them and then do all of it. Question is, are we smart enough to learn from our mistakes before it's too late.